Aloha guys, welcome to my homestead in Hawaii and today I am out in the yard. I just cut down a bunch of junk trees on the neighbor's property that were kind of shading out my my area. A lot of them fell into my my side of the yard and that's great. I like that because I'm going to use the leaves from these junk trees and some of the smaller branches to be a chop and drop mulch to help feed my bananas here and uh, possibly move some of it to some other fruit trees. Uh, the leaves from the junk trees are super rich in nitrogen and other valuable minerals that they are able to bring up from uh, the soil or from the air and for us to use to feed our plants in our garden. So these junk trees, while many people consider a nu nuisance, can be a valuable resource if we use them properly. And so we're going to use these junk trees to help build soil and build fertility in our garden. And all it takes is us just to manage these trees. Every, uh, I probably cut these uh, junk trees once every year or so. They sprout right back up again. And I have more material to put into the garden. And some of the larger logs I save for um, sporing mushrooms and also for firewood. So um, these junk trees can be a great resource. What is chop and drop? Well, chop and drop is a principle that is used in permaculture. It's sort of a technique, not a principle that, um, well, we chop down a tree and we drop it. That's it, we're done. So I'm kind of doing that. I'm chopping it up just a little bit more so that it's not too messy. But other than that, it's just being uh, chopped and dropped right in place. And it's a uh, easy resource for us to use in our garden that way. So chop and drop, it's a really simple method. And you can check out what I'm doing. It's uh, really easy for you to do on your homestead. And uh, I hope it's a technique that you begin to utilize because it's really so simple, but uh, so often never done. Most people just take their material off the site and then they even come back with mulch. You know, so they'll take their green waste to the dump and then go back to the dump and get the, the compost mulch that they make there. Whereas you could just do that right here on your own site just by utilizing simple chop and drop techniques. An added bonus is sometimes that your, your animals that you have on your property love this material as well. So the chickens will peck at some of the leaves of the Albizia tree, your goats, your sheep, uh, horses, donkeys, whatever you might have on your property will probably also enjoy eating uh, the leaves of these junk trees. So uh, once again, another valuable resource for your homestead. Uh, the junk tree is one not to be uh, overlooked. And when I mean junk tree, I'm talking about Albizia trees, uh, gunpowder tree, uh, they could be ironwood tree, there's the cerecropia, I, I think that's how you pronounce it, but those are um, common junk trees that pop up around here that aren't native, that are nitrogen fixing or just pioneer species that tend to become a nuisance if not properly managed. For me, I make sure I get to these trees before they go to flower, before they go to seed, so they're not spreading. Every year I have this resource, it's called coppicing, it's called chop and drop, it's whatever you're gonna call it. It's, gonna, it's a resource that we need to start using in, on our homestead. Uh, it was cool, when I was out in Indonesia this past summer, I um, was roaming through the forest with my family. We were looking for black macaques, uh, monkeys that um, are really hard to find in the wild. And we're just roaming through the forest and what we found mostly were Indonesian um, villagers working in the woods all over the place. You'd run into people that are chopping down trees, harvesting some of the firewood. I saw some of them um, sporing up some logs for mushrooms. They were um, really utilizing the forest in a way that we don't really necessarily do out here. We just chop the trees and we just junk them and we don't utilize the material. Uh, that's because our labor is uh, more valuable, I guess. If your time isn't paid in money, but it's more in just what you get out of your labor, then it becomes a different story. So here on my homestead, we don't really make money 
but um, or we do have a small income. My wife works off site, but I myself have um, mostly work here on the the homestead, and I um, chop my own firewood like this. I build my own mulch material. I minimize my trips to town um, so that I don't have to pick up mulch or compost. I try and make it here on site. I try to use the resources that I have on site, even the resources on my neighboring properties. So it's sort of a mind shift. Instead of going to buy it, how can I create it myself? And by doing that, you, you can learn to live a life that requires drastically less amount of money that you may be used to right now. I feel like I live like a king off of what some people would be considering poverty wages. And that is because I utilize the resources that I have. I have money, I manage it well, I create a budget. Some of it actually gets invested in um, enterprises that increase that money. Um, we went to Indonesia last summer with a whole family. The whole summer we were in Indonesia enjoying ourselves and having the trip of a lifetime. And I utilize the resources that come off this property, the grass clippings we use as mulch sometimes, the junk trees we use as uh, mulch and chop and drop and food for animals. Um, so many things around here, you can find a resource and a yield from it that can minimize your need to get a job, to work off site, to be away from your family and your home that you pay so much for already. What's the point in all that? What's the point? Find a way to lessen your need for that money and find a way to be more at home. Find a way to return back to your homestead and be closer with your family and with the land and learn the skills that you need to be able to require less money, but instead build more skills. Thanks for watching guys. Till next time, I hope you liked it. Leave a comment, subscribe, uh, hit the like button and uh, be sure to watch the videos. Aloha.